I said that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna give the people what they want. They've been asking, now we're delivering. <laughs> Everyone wanted a little story time video of how Kyle and I met, so we thought we would sit down and do that today. Mm. It's fun to relive memories. Yeah, this thing is, I love it. Okay, so. We'll just get right to it. Start from the beginning. Okay, so from my perspective of the story, I was just, you know, a little eighth grade girl, innocently going to her brother's basketball game, and so I just went. And when I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, there's my friend Cody. And I was like, Cody, hey. And then he was with a really cute guy. Eighth grade me was like, oh my gosh, that guy is so cute. And Cody was like, hey Lex, how are you? And I was like, oh my gosh, good, how are you? And he's like, this is my cousin Kyle. I was like, oh my gosh, hi Kyle. And then I gave him a hug. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna give you a hug. I'm a hugger. So I gave him a hug. <laughs> and then I sat with him for the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. So, I really wanted to see her brother's team play because it was one of the better games oh. of the season. And they played with Gary Harris and Zach Irvin who ended up being like back-to-back -back Mr. Basketball. So they were just like a good team. And they were team playing against too. Glenn Robinson who's played for the Pacers for a while. So yeah, like, and Gary Harris plays for the Denver Nuggets now. So so it was a really good game. I guess that um, was a bad backstory. On no, my no, part. no, that's cool, that's cool. So me and my cousin, I was sick and I really didn't want to go but Cody wanted to go really bad and my stepdad thought it would be good for us to go because it's good basketball so we went and I was wearing a hoodie and some you know some sandals no big deal <laughs> and this girl was like hey Cody and Cody's like oh what's up Alexa whatever how are you they hug introduce me and I'm like wow she is gorgeous in my head like eighth grade me didn't say gorgeous he said hot <laughs> wow, she's hot <laughs> and she gave me a hug and that caught me off guard because i was real formal like i was gonna just give her a handshake you know hey nice to meet you <laughs> yeah but she uh <laughs> she gave me a hug and i was like shoot and then she sat with us for the whole game and she was like really funny, pretty smile. She was talking to Cody a lot and then she would try to talk to me and like. He was not having it. He would not talk. He was like a mute the whole game. I wasn't a mute. Yes, Stop you were. Doing that. No, yes, we you can, were. I will call Cody I think, right now. I think he was really nervous and he just says he's sick in retrospect. We can ask, I promise you I was sick. One, was <laughs> I a little bit nervous because I'd never talked to someone that pretty? Yes. I was, but I was also sick, so those two together made me not talk that much, but I still talked. Every time you ask me a question, I answered. You'd be like, yeah. Oh my gosh, she's lying. No, I'm not. Lying. He barely talked. I remember even that night saying like, you don't talk very much. Yeah, you did say that. Blame him out for not talking. And then I said, I'm sick. Okay. Anyways, so after that, it seem, seemingly, I didn't have to talk that much because yeah, you I, Cody. Yeah, I did. So, okay, also, here's how I know Cody. So, I went to school on the south side with Cody and, like, grew up going to the same school as Cody. And then I moved my eighth grade year up north to, like, close to where Kyle goes to school and where my brother went to high school. So, honestly, we wouldn't have met if I didn't move. We probably would have met because I was always with Cody, oh. but like not, it would have been different. But, so that's how I knew Cody, even though we didn't like go to the same school anymore, we grew up together, so that's mm -hmm. how I knew Cody. But, um, yeah, after the game, I texted Cody. I don't really remember, you remember more of the details of the story than she I do. She texted Cody and she said, your cousin's really cute, you should tell him to text me. <laughs> I said that? Yes. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. <laughs> 
I you just remember a, so many details. I just have a way with <laughs> I have a way with words, wow. But you didn't text me. I didn't. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. I want answers. I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. <laughs> but I followed him on Twitter. Mm -hmm. and I followed her back. And I remember, like, he tweeted something about how he loved Eminem. So I purposely tweeted Eminem lyrics, hoping he would respond back to them. And, <laughs> and he did. did. And then after that, he got my number from that. And then that's when we started texting. Mm -hmm. Wow. I remember exactly where I was. I was at Pinhead's bowling with Cody again. And I was in my basement wrapping Christmas presents. Wow. That's how we met, and then after that, what happened from there to our first date? You know, Kyle was just a little player back in the eighth grade, <laughs> and... I was very young and dumb. We were texting each other for a while, and then he got back together with whatever girl he was dating in the eighth grade and just left me hanging. That's what happened. Yeah. And then you broke, you guys broke up, and then... I saw you at one of Cody's games because I went to me and Anna went to one of Cody's basketball games and you were there and I played after you him. Were, oh yeah because you were and she playing, left and I left because I didn't want to watch you play because I didn't care I I remember that remember that game vividly because I'm pretty sure I had eight blocks oh I remember that game Monument. yeah I left were you just so angry I was I angry I was super angry she left because I saw her leave. <laughs> And I knew that I screwed it up the first time. So. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to stay and watch it. I actually think we left because we had something to do, but... Okay. Just like, I was sick. Okay. See? Thanks for admitting that you weren't sick. I was sick. <laughs> I was sick. Yeah, and then I don't even know how we start talking You know how again. I get when I get sick. Sorry to go back to this. You know how You're I really get... really stuck on the sick thing. Well, there. because <laughs> you know how, like, how I get when I'm sick. <laughs> Anyways. I don't really know how we started talking again after that, but we did and I remember I texted Anna. You did? I had I had to get her blessing because I screwed up the first time. I can we all just appreciate how dramatic this is for like the eighth grade? <laughs> this is so dramatic. Yeah. And I don't really know how we started talking again, but I remember that he rode his bike to my house. Yeah. And, and yeah, she wouldn't let me inside. I wouldn't let him inside because my parents weren't home and I was, I'm was i a rule follower. So I didn't think he was allowed to come into my house without my parents home. <laughs> and then he went home. I told her it was part of my bike routine, like my workout schedule. Like I had to bike places. <laughs> I never... I mean, I we bike work out in college now, but I've never done that in high school. Yeah, you were doing the most. But you had to. Just stunting. You had to. And then, I don't really, I, it's all blurry. The in-between is blurry. But at some point in time between December of our 8th grade year to August of our freshman year, we started dating. <laughs> so our first date was the football game at my school, like we talked about in the previous videos. And then, after that, we had... And then I came over. That was the next day, right? Yeah, and then you came to my house. I came to your house. We watched a movie in the basement. Mm -hmm. We had pizza. Yep. You had braces. I did have braces. I had braces for four months because my tooth got knocked. It was stuck <laughs> pointing backwards. Mm -hmm. My front tooth. I remember, actually, I sent her a picture when I got braces. And I was like, it's okay if you don't <laughs> think I'm cute anymore. <laughs> Like, you don't amazing. have to be with me because I have braces. <laughs> that is funny. Wow, we were so dramatic. We were. And then, I'm talking about first kiss. Sure. Because it's fire. It. I brought a movie called Warrior. Awesome. And we watched it, and then she took it out, and she wouldn't give me the movie. And she was, like, hiding it behind her back and stuff. So I was, like, like sort of wrestling with her, like trying to get it, and then I tackled her onto the couch, and it was this intimate moment. His braces hit my teeth. 
And then I... Perfect. That was a perfect first kiss. And then after that, I was like, I know, I don't, I'm her exact words, I know I don't deserve a second chance, but will you be my girlfriend? Again, so dramatic. So dramatic. But I said yes, and then we started dating. And then we dated for three whole years. And now we're engaged. And now we're engaged and getting married. We're gonna live together forever, happily ever after. Well, that is a story of how we first met and how we ended up dating for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more story times about some other stuff, let us know. I love reminiscing. Love reminiscing. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you thought that our first encounter was extremely dramatic, don't forget to subscribe. And <laughs> so thank be you. everyone. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.